Hey everyone, how are you? I see we've got people from all over the world here. I'm seeing Brazil, Romania, the UK, Sweden. Uh, where else? Man, just from everywhere. This is awesome. Austria, London, India, Mexico. I love that. I hope you're all doing great today. Uh, we've still got uh, construction outside, so if you hear some noise or whatever, that's what's going on outside. Um, so today I'm going to begin a new uh, scene, environment, whatever. Um, I've pretty much finished up the alley. I still need to do the uh, 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 guns, weapons, whatever you want to call them, whatever I'm going to make to put in the crates there. Um, so I haven't figured out what I'm going to put in there, but I know it's going to be like illegal or something. I don't know. <laughs> um, but now I'm going to move on to this cargo hold, the interior of one of those cargo things. Let me bring that up again. So I've got the the, the dimensions here. So this one, let's take a look at here. Um, well, you can't really see that very well. But what it says is these things are usually eight feet wide. They have a height of eight feet, six inches, and they're either 10 feet, 20 feet, or, or 40 feet long. So that's what I want to do. And let me um, bring up those reference images I talked about the other day. Where are those? Um, where is it? TV, dumpster, doors, container sh ship. There it is. So, let's, so I'm going to want to make one of these, or one of these, I should say. Um, but what I need to do now is make the inside of one of these. So let me go into here. Here we go. Um, so as I said before, something like this mixed with this, right? So it looks to me what I'm going to need to do is create one of these uh, containers. And just like I did in the alley where I created the car and then kind of built the alley um, a, a, around the car, I should say, um, it, it helps me to get like a single, uh, single item and then build everything around that for some reason. I don't know why. So I'm going to give that a try. So... Um, if we're, let's say we're going to make this 20 feet long. I think I don't need it 40 feet, 10 feet, maybe too small. So I think the, I'm going to go with this. So we've got eight feet by eight point or eight and a half feet by 20. So let's begin with that. So I think what I'm going to do is create a high poly version of this thing and then create a low poly and bake um, the information to that in a, a normal map so that I can then take the object and the map into Substance Painter and work from there. I, I don't think I'm, I want it to be so high poly that I actually create in geometry all these little pieces and everything. I think I can do that in a map. So I'm going to begin by just getting rid of these things here. And um, let's figure out how big this should be. So uh, I'm going to change my units of measure to uh, feet. And let's then see how big this is. It's two feet by two feet. So I want it um, in the X, what did we say? Eight 
8.5 feet. Oh, no, that's inches. So, well, no, what is that? <laughs> if I do 8 feet, there we go. How about 8 feet? Uh, how about 8.5 feet? Let me try that. There we go. That's good. So that's how that's how wide it's going to be. Um, what'd we say? Eight feet tall. So do that there. And then 20 feet long in the Y. There we go. So there is the dimensions of our container. That's good. Let me bring it up and just plop it right here on that. So that's how big we want the thing to be. It looks like this is taller to me, doesn't it? It looks like, or is that just a trick of the camera? It feels like it's just a little bit taller, like, like that, doesn't it? I don't know. Maybe. Let me make sure. Uh, what was that? Eight feet wide, eight and a half tall, right? Or did I do that backwards? Eight, that's what I did backwards. Okay, that's why. So it should be 8.5 feet tall and only eight feet wide. That's why. There we go. That looks a little better. Okay. Now, so that is basically pretty much going to be our low poly object. I mean, I'm going to add a few more <laughs> a few more edges to it, I think, than than that, but I think that's pretty much it. All right. So now, let's duplicate this and I'll move it to another layer. And let's begin working on this here. So this one over here in layer two is going to be our low poly object. I'll do, uh, I'll say container low poly. And the one over in here in layer one is going to be container high poly. There we go. Okay. Now... Um, this one here, I think, I don't need, I don't really need this per se. I think I can just create it. Well, I guess I should leave it there. Because I think I want these, I want to build this frame and then create the side panels here. You know, I think, I think that's what I want to do. So maybe first of all, what I'll do is create one of these side panels. Yeah, let's do that. So, um, I'm going to create a polygon plane first. And um, let's see, maybe rotate it around the X here. And let's see. What I want to do is just create one of these edges. And then I'm going to try and use the array modifier to create them all. I don't know. You think that's going to work? Let's see. So, something like this. Right there. And then, there are, of course, a ton of ways to do this, but I'm just going to try this like this. I'm going to pull that back, widen it out, and then extrude and widen it out. So then we got this. So that's maybe one of these pieces right there. I don't know. Do you think that's going to work? So then what I can do, okay, now if I come back over here and take this guy and let's put it on one of the uh, sides here. Um, R Z 9. No, R Z negative 9. There we go. And I want to just see if it's going to work. You know, see how it's going to fit on here. 
And as I said, there are lots of different ways to do this. Please don't think that I am, I, I am saying this is the only way to do this. Never do I say that. I am always of the mind that there's at least a million ways to do any one thing. So, okay, so let's just say that we've got this here. All right, now, let's see if maybe, oh, you know what I could do? Let me bring this back and just turn this to wire. No. Oh, that's only if you can, eh, okay. All right, so I'll just do it like this. Let me grab this and I'll need to zero out the rotations, I believe, like that. Now let's apply that array modifier and see what happens. I want to do it along the y-axis, so zero in the x, one in the y, like that. How does that look? That's not bad. All right. So then, let me bring this guy back real quick. Gonna move it out just a little bit for now. All right, so then let's just uh, go like this. Huh? Maybe? All right. So yeah, that might work. Something like that, you know? Why don't we try that? Okay. Yeah, I kind I kind of like it actually. So that'll be good for this panel on both sides. What I would need to make sure and do is um uh is this Merge vertices. Yeah, I want to do that. I want to merge vertices when I apply it. That should work pretty well, I think. Um, yeah, okay. Uh, the next thing let's do is maybe this front piece here. It's just this square piece here, just that frame. Because I, as I said, I want to just make these frames around these panels and I also want to make these door panels here up front um, but the good thing about it is I can play with as many polys as I want because we're going to bake it anyway um, how's everybody doing out here <coughs> let's see You can use array modifier, yes. Uh, overlap a bunch of times. Did I overlap a, a bunch of times? I don't think so, in that what's going to happen is um, we're going to apply the modifier with m merge selected, and then they will all... Um, merge together however we let's you know well let's uh let's give it a try let's hit apply okay now what we can also do is go into edit mode select everything and then uh what is control v for the vertices menu and we can choose remove doubles and let's see removed zero vertices perfect all right, so that um, I think is gonna work. All right, um, let's see. How about, let, yeah, let's work on these frames here now. I'm gonna take this and I'm gonna move it in just a little bit like that. Let's do that. And uh, maybe even I'll take this and duplicate it and 
mirror it over to the other side or maybe just mirror let me just um, add a mirror modifier let's mirror in the X but do I need to apply here let me um, what I need to do is move that cursor into the center of the grid then I need to move that origin to that 3d cursor there we go and now if I mirror it there we go so now we've got those two pieces all right let's now work on the frame here and I can apply this I'll go ahead and do that and apply it so it's all one piece now let's work on the frame um, you know what I don't know is what do the tops look like I don't know what the top is the top just the same as these things here um, oh the keyboard shortcuts my apologies sorry there we go uh, although it's being kind of weird here let's give this uh, I usually set this to like 36 uh, text uh, turn that off turn that off and there we go there we go yeah that got completely turned off now didn't it let me see what the top of one of these looks like uh, do we have a picture of the top oh we've got a couple of hmm shipping container let me just see I love Google images what did we do before um it's kind of a drawing of one. I kind of want to see a real one. Not a 3D model, not a drawing. Oh, here, wait, what about this? Oh, it's a little bit different. Okay. All right, we can, we can work with that. Let's see if there's another one that has another kind of top to it. What about this? No, can't really see that. That's a completely different kind. I want a real one. I want a real, not someone else's drawing or 3D model. <laughs> okay, fine. I'll just put top. There we go. Here. Okay, so that's pretty much the same as the other one. All right, we'll work on that here in a, a, a minute. So let's work on the front and the back frames right now. So it looks to me like we could just create a cube and use this as the basis of this. So let's try it. something like this I'll bring it out like to there like that all right so that let's say that's that part uh, we've got these pieces down here Oh, it looks like uh, we could scale that in, bring that up, and then it looks like there are these parts right down here. So we could maybe, let me uh, insert two edge loops, and then extrude this down in the Z like that. Now we've got that piece there. Okay. Um, this part, let's make sure we get this big piece in. Let's do that. Create another cube. Scale that down. And this needs to be fairly this piece right here let 
Let's get this right in here. Like that. There and there. Now, this piece here, can we just extrude that up out of there? It looks like we might be able to. So um, let's try it. I'm going to go like this. And I'm going to go maybe like this, something like that. Now, I can't really, I can always mirror it over. I won't worry about it now. <laughs> I'll take this up. There we go. And that can go up just a little bit higher. And now I'm going to take this. You know what? I'm going to cut that in half. like this faces and then what I'll do is while I'm here I'll go ahead and mirror it because it looks like that's right down the center there that's good yep there we go and then if I take this and move it up to here I should be able to take that and whoop <laughs> Let's extrude it. How's that sound? And clip it and just snap it right there. There we go. All right. So that's that basic front part. Uh, let me turn on wires for that. All right. Um, how about one of these doors here? What are we going to do for one of these doors? Well, that doesn't look too bad. Now well, let's try that. I think I'll just um, create a cube. No. How about a cube, not a circle? Cube, there we go. And let's put this in place like this. Bring this up here. Let's put this in place right here. Like that. And I'm going to move it back in a bit. Hello don't need this face but I am going to leave those sides just so we have something in those in those edges there now these things um, what are we going to do with those do they go all the way across no they kind of alright so they don't go all the way across We can extrude this out like that. And it actually looks like we could give it a couple of edges on the top and the bottom as well. Like this. There we go. Now, a couple of things we can do here. It looks like we could take all of these and extrude them or push this in just a hair. Why don't we do that? I'll push it in just a hair. And then let's work on these things. So these things here, let me give it four edges like this. And then to make them fairly the same size, let's grab these two edges and just scale them up to make those two pieces right there. Grab that and that and let's push those in 
like that. And then I'm going to scale them in. Let me uh, change the individual origins here. Let's see if I can scale those in individually like that so they're a little bit narrow in there. Yeah, something like that. Okay. Pop that in there. Um, that's not bad. Let's see what else we want to do. I guess I want to go ahead and duplicate that over. Like that. Okay. All right. So that's getting there. Let's move this over as well. All right, I think we're getting there. Let me save this. Wouldn't that be a good idea if I said uh, maybe this should be, uh, what are we going to call this? This is the cargo hold. Let's call it that. And this is a container. Container 01, let's call it. There we go. Just in case. Top braces or the crossbars there. Do I want, I think I want to create a whole new one for this. Let me uh, create a new cube and move this into place. Let me move this right about there and then I'm just going to move that right like that and see how this works. Yeah, let's do that. Okay, so now, um, SY, let's scale that up so they meet like so. See how that works. Yeah, I kind of need that to be out a little more. But it it works in it it uh, looks like it's inside like that. Okay. All right. There's that. Let me select everything here. Let me just try and take away all the edges so I can kind of see it without the wire edges. All right. I think it needs to come down more. Oh, I see. It's because I've got these blocks so high or so so low beyond that. So, okay, I'm going to take the whole thing up like this. And now let's take a look at that. And now bring this down. Okay, so I just had everything a little too low there. Let's try that. All right. Okay. We're getting there, I think, huh? Uh, let me do one thing over here. There we go. Um, so, did, oh, can you not see me? Can you hear me? Can you not see me? Or what's going on? Refresh. <laughs> is there a problem let me uh, let me let me check here hang on
let's see. Seems to be a problem with the stream, huh? Sorry about that. I was just so into what I was doing there that I didn't even notice. Let me try this. Okay. It's just out of out of sync a bit. Okay. Interesting. All right. Well, my apologies. Um we'll keep plugging away here and see what we can get get done for today. Um I'm going to work on the top, but first I need to move this over. So let me grab this, duplicate it, move it over to the other side. All right. No, I didn't put the holes in the cube down there. I'm not sure if I'm going to or not. I'm not sure if that's I don't know. We'll see. I guess that would come through in the normal map, wouldn't it? Not sure. Down here, and you know what, now that you're mentioning it, down here, let me, uh, I could maybe, well, I'm not sure I want to deal with that right now. Let me uh, let me keep mo keep moving on down here, and move these up like so. Okay. Now that top that top was kind of a uh, not corrugated but had a bit of a texture to it here as well. I guess what we could do is once again use an array modifier on that. Let me try that. Um, so let's create a polygon plane. And I'm going to move it up here into where it should be. Right in here. And then... I want to make this kind of like that. Now what I want to do is make a piece, just one of these pieces here. Um, so let me see, like this, but then what I can do, I think, is go like this. and go like this, like that, and then grab this guy, move him up, scale him in a bit, like that, and then this is what I could use an array for up here, like this, Let's see. Now we could uh, apply the rotation. Okay, the rotation is fine. Let's add an array modifier. This is going to be in the Y, not the X. So 0 for the X, 1 for the Y. There you go. And now let's see if we can place these along here. Something like that. Now, do I want to... I could make them a little narrower here. If I did that and then came back to this one and tabbed into edit mode. Oops. Or can I just scale in the Y? Let me do that. 
Let me just scale in the Y and see what happens. Yeah, there we go. That's nice. All right. So there's that. I feel like it's a little bit too high, though, a too tall, too much. Let me bring it down just so it's barely. There we go. Yeah, something like that. Okay, so now we've got the basics, I think. Uh, but the question is, how much more detail do we want on these things, right? That's the hard part. Um, so now, let's go ahead and work on these things here. Looks like we just need, need to make one of them and duplicate and then mirror them over here. So let's see. It looks like, let me uh, put the cursor right here, bring in a cylinder, and there goes the construction. Oh, that's nice. Can you hear that? It sounds like they're drilling under the building here. My God. Okay. So for this, what I want to do is make it just a little bit out like this. So I want to, I think I want to bring these doors out some. So they're a little bit more f flush with that frame so that I can bring these in like that. Okay. And move this out. So yeah, I'm just trying to get those cylinders in line there and about the right size. So let me see. If I bring this all the way down to here, now it looks like it's a little too big. So what let's do is, you know, we could use this, um, what is it over here under tool, the uh, shrink tool here, shrink fatten tool, at least I think we can. If I click it and drag, nothing seems to be happening. Hmm. All right. Well, that's interesting. I remember when I used to use that. <laughs> All right. Okay. What let's do, or do I have the median point in the wrong place? Maybe, no. That's correct. Interesting. All right, so what I'm gonna do then is press S Shift Z, and that'll do pretty much the same thing, like that. That gets me pretty much there. There we go, so maybe like this. And then, yeah, something like that. So now I need these little braces here. Um, what's a good way to do those? Those little braces. Well, you know what? I don't have to worry about poly count. So what I can do is be a little, um, extravagant with my use of edges here. And what I could do Bring this up here like that. Let me see. Something like that. And then what I could do maybe is select all of these faces. Um, say this face and control click this face. 
something like that. Or, no, I could just do the whole thing. I'm going to do the whole thing. I'm going to take this. I'm going to duplicate it. Hit P to split it out. Then I'll select it. Uh, get that cursor to the origin or to the geometry. Scale that out a bit. So that's that piece. And then, as I said, I don't really... Although I might actually use these pieces, I'm not sure. Um, I could grab these back here. Extrude those back. Flatten them. Oops, I extruded again. Let me try that again. Sc scale them. And then grab this and this and extrude those out like so. Now, I didn't think too much about poly count on th that one, so I'm not sure if this is going to be the actual one we use or just a high poly version of it, but let's see. There we go. And let's put that back over here. All right. So yeah, something like that. Now did I catch how far away am I? I'm still pretty far away. So what I could do is uh, grab those faces. And let's extend that. And extend that. And let's just pull that out like that. There we go. So that's that brace there. We need another one down here. I'll go ahead and bring that down. It doesn't look, looks too big. Let me scale it down a bit. Now we need another one down here. Oops. Like that. Okay. Then I'm going to need to work on this piece here these right here. I'm going to need to work on these door handles right here. But I think what I'm going to do is take this and just move it down to here and then scale this in the Z like that just for one of those. I think that'll work. And then oh, this one didn't... oh there we go. All right, so ultimately we're going to need to finish this and duplicate it and then mirror them to the other side. This piece right here, I want to go ahead and add that. So let me get these two and move the cursor to the here and go ahead and create a cube to move into there. just want that piece on the between the doors there. I think that's kind of a nice little thing. There we go. Like this. Now is that It's pretty much centered there, isn't it? Okay. that. Something like that. And then I think I'd also like to give it just a little bit of a bevel there. Let's uh, 
see what our scale looks like. I'm going to apply the scale. And let's, is it control B? Is that right? <laughs> yeah, there we go. Give that a little bit of a bevel there. I don't like how wide these are apart. There we go. All right. Let me see about one more thing. Let's see if there's see if I can get one more thing done before I have to go here. Um, it's th these are awfully hard to see what's up there. I mean, I could just honestly, I could just take this piece and put it up there because that's so hard to see. Um, these blocks here. Let me move this up. Maybe we could put this block right here, like that. Move it out and out like that. And we guess we need them on the other side. And you know, it may be a good idea to put the holes in them, although I'm not sure how they will how the normal map will see that, but it'd be worth a try. Let me just bring that out here. And then we'd need them on the other side as well. Do I already have the, I've got the ones on the bottom. Let's grab the ones on the top. move that up here. There we go. Okay. We are getting there. I'm going to have to put a bottom on it, but I don't think it needs to be really anything uh, special because I don't think we're ever going to see the bottom. I mean, I could just, I don't know, put a plane. I'm going to spin that plane over uh, RX180 so we see the front of it at the bottom and then um, control s 7 to go to the bottom and let's put that right here Oops. and let's bring it up um, something like right in here Let's try that. So we have a bottom to it, and we'll put some sort of a texture on that, but not, I don't know that we're ever going to see the bottom of that, so I don't think it'll matter too much. All right, so we have pretty much our container down here. I think that's going to work. Um, what still needs to be done is I still need to create the handle for this. These kind of hinges, if we want these here. Um, and then we need to duplicate all that over. We need to see if we can create some holes in here. You know, I could even do that with just uh, a Boolean. Just Boolean those. I could give that a try. And then we'll um, then we'll actually create a low poly version. I mean, we'll need a little bit more detail than this, but I think ultimately that's going to work pretty well. So yeah, um, all right. Well, I I want to say I, or I want to apologize for the the problems with the stream. I hope you were able to catch <laughs> a little bit um, of this. But for tomorrow, I think what I want to do is continue on and go ahead and uh, create a, a normal 
map for this and then take all of it into uh, a substance painter. So that sounds like fun because then we can add some paint and rust and some words here. So I think that'll be kind of cool. So anyway, I, I appreciate you hanging out and uh, hope to see you again tomorrow. So take care.